constituted as the 365th fighter group on the 27th of April 1943. The Hellhawks was one of the most successful P-47 Thunderbolt fighter groups of the 9th Air Force. They departed Richmond Army Air Base on December the 4th, 1943, and sailed to Europe on the Queen Elizabeth along with 15,000 troops. Yet it was several weeks before it received a full complement of 75 P-47D Thunderbolts, and mid-February 44 before they were placed on operational status. Their first mission flown on the 22nd of February was a bomber support sweep of short duration over enemy-held territory. Early missions were flown in support of the 8th Air Force bomber operations, which led to the first engagement with enemy fighters in the Bastogne area, resulting in the loss of one Thunderbolt and claims of six of the enemy shot down. With only nine missions to its credit, as planning progressed for D-Day, the Hellhawks were to move to better support it. On March 5, 1944, the 365th Fighter Group moved to Bewley, close to the major channel port of Southampton. Here, if a man could get off base into nearby Bewley or Brockenhurst, he could enjoy a delightful pint. Bewley offered the men better facilities, a more efficient fueling area, and a longer runway. It was from this base that the Hellhawks would learn the ropes of air-to-ground combat as a prelude to their D-Day mission. The group was stood down three days after arrival so that it could undertake a two-week intensive course in ground attack and fighter bombing. After training, the 365th flew dive bombing missions to attack such targets as bridges, aerodromes, rail facilities and gun positions prior to D-Day. They were instrumental in determining the maximum bomb loads of the P-47, two 1,000-pound bombs and an external fuel tank on the belly rack. They were the first group to fly a dive-bombing mission with that bomb load. On D-Day, its duties were attacking gun emplacements and communications facilities behind the bridgehead. Two P-47s were lost. On the following day, when 12 separate squadron-sized missions were flown, five aircraft failed to return. The 365th was one of the most successful P-47 groups of the 9th Air Force when it came to air combat, and a total of 29 enemy aircraft were credited as shot down during the four months the group operated from Bewley. On the 25th of June, the 365th had one of its best days when eight enemy fighter bombers were destroyed. On the 2nd of June, Lieutenant Colonel Robert L. Kofi, Jr., the Air Executive, became the 9th Air Force's third Thunderbolt ace. As with other P-47 groups, losses were modest until ground attack became a regular task in June. All told, 24 P-47s were missing in action during their stay at Bewley. Although it is difficult to underestimate the contribution of air cover and ground support to the success of D-Day and the liberation of Europe, the sojourn at Bewley was brief and the role of the Hellhawks was somehow wiped from the official history of air, the airfield until unique footage of the squadron in action was discovered in French archives. As the pace of combat over post-D-Day Normandy accelerated, by late June, the Hellhawks in the air each day knew their time at Beauty was limited. Their dive-bombing and strafing missions were closely tied to the Allied grinding their way through the Normandy hedgerows. On each sortie, the flight to and from Bewley consumed an hour of flight time and fuel, limiting both the squadron's bomb load and their loiter time over France. To meet the air support needs of the Allied ground forces, the 9th Air Force Group would have to operate near the battlefields in France. The 365th Group began its move to the continent on the 21st of June, the first squadron taking up residence at Adsville, France on the 26th of June, the last moving out of Bewley on the 28th of June. On the continent, the group moved rapidly from one airfield to another in direct support of General Hodges' First Army. Their mission was twofold, to protect their ground forces from enemy air attack and destroy any and all obstacles on the ground that prevented Allied forces from advancing. They supported the airborne assault into Holland, and during the autumn of 1944, 
flew to aid the seizure of Arkham. The group received a distinguished unit citation for taking out a large number of enemy aircraft over the Bonn Dusseldorf area in Germany on the 21st of October 1944. The 365th was one of the 9th Air Force fighter groups to win a distinguished unit citation for action in southern Germany, knocking out airfields and aircraft to help speed the Allied advance, and eventually winding up near Fritzlar, Germany, on VE Day. The 365th flew its last mission on the 8th of May, 1945.